this is when we first got to Third Beach, about 1.4 miles in. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, rope video. I think this looks less intimidating on in video than it did in person. That one too. The camera makes it look a little easier than it actually was. Mostly for mud purposes. We were we had a pretty dry trail. We did get on. So we had to wait for the tide, but then this is after we were able to pass along the beach. Probably one of the longer rope climbs. Still making our way south to Tolia Point. I think that's between Strawberry and Toliak. Lots of swamping flies around the sea. Bald eagle. Could not get a clear shot of that. <clears throat> we got up early the next morning to continue our way south. Oh yeah, that was an early foggy morning. But it's still pretty warm. Yeah, from mid-September is nice. A little peek at our overland trail. two little creeks that we had to cross and then back down to the beach the plastic poncho was overkill I was afraid of getting soaked but we just had some minor sprinkles that that was really unnecessary it looks so good now yeah that one Oh yeah, the little creeks that were along the beach where we got to pump water. I don't even think they were named on the map. So this is south of Toliak, heading towards Mosquito Creek at low tide, because we needed to cross Mosquito Creek at low tide. I'm sure this entire area is underwater at high tide. Mosquito Creek? Yeah, Mosquito Creek at low tide. And that was where we accessed the trail. 
All right, we are here at Mosquito Creek Campground uh, on the coast of Washington. And uh, this is an awesome spot because we are overlooking the ocean. Um, this is the entrance and exit to the Overland Trail when uh, the tide is high. There is one spot that you can access from the beach with this handy rope here. Uh, we did not take that way. If you keep going um, north along the beach, right uh, by the creek is another access point, which I'm not sure if that's available during high tide, but it was available for us. But this is just a gorgeous little spot with a gorgeous view. And uh, there's nobody here. There is absolutely nobody here in mid-September. Um, this place is empty. There's probably, I don't know, half a dozen sites or so. But it is protected from the wind. It is gorgeous. And this is Mosquito Creek Campground. Oh, and I forgot, I think there might be toilets here. Well, would you look at that? There's a little toilet. I'd personally rather just go in the woods, dig a cat hole. But I think that was one of my favorite spots along the whole place. It'd be great if you had a group campsite together with a bunch of friends, but if there were strangers there, it'd be a little too crowded. Yeah, everything was pretty close together. This is our little nap spot, and you were right at the edge of a cliff. That was so cozy. <laughs> right. You know, other people told us that this uh, section of the trail was just overgrown and muddy, but I thought it was fun. Yeah, I didn't mind it. There were parts of overgrowth, but that's just part of the experience. It wasn't impassable by any means. Right. We never felt like we were going to lose the trail. It certainly can be helpful to have uh, holes or some sticks in the woods to guide you along though if there were muddier parts of the trail. And definitely helpful to have gloves for the ropes. Yeah. So. The fairy faces. What do we see, like 20 of them along the whole 17 mile almost, trail? Yeah. I do recommend bringing a second pair of shoes, one you don't mind getting wet, just in case. This is a continuation between Mosquito Creek heading south towards Jackson Cove.
pretty muddy. I don't remember it being very buggy though. No, it was pretty cool. Her camera makes these things look easier than they seemed in person. <laughs> we were being very cautious too. <laughs> yeah. We did not want any injuries there, yeah, okay. But if you're cautious, slow, make sure your footing is good. I think any able bodied backpacker can do these. Again, it wasn't nearly as slick as I had seen other people post, so I think we kind of got lucky in that sense. That one was really steep, that was the final one. Or if, yeah, if you're heading south, it's the final one. If you're heading yeah. north, it's the first one, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. You'll see that this is Jackson Cove where we actually came down in high tide and you cannot pass really along where we needed to go during high tide so that's when we realized we were past our campsite. Mm -hmm. The next day was all boulder climbing basically for a good mile oh, yeah. and a half. Diamond Point. I think that was Diamond Point, that picture. Mm -hmm. And this is right at the Oil City Trailhead area. And, we just... and that's it. Yeah. 